What is up, heroes? This is Minite Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater Blind. In the last episode, we completed the 13th drop. We actually finished the 12th drop and completed the 13th drop, where we encountered, I think, the Dark Sun, and had a really interesting dream as Ren, where we had to choose our bride in a sort of ghost marriage ritual, and found out that we're at the last drop, where we're going to play as Yuri Kotsukata and find out how this really interesting story is going to come to a conclusion. Uh, much to my surprise, our episode percent is only 53%, which makes me wonder what exactly that episode percent is actually tracking. Our ghost list is only at 64%, albeit we know that there have been quite a few ghosts I've missed up until this point, and then the archive is only at 77%. I thought I was being quite thorough, but alas, I've still missed quite a bit. So, without further ado, I guess, let's, let's hop into the last drop. Caught up in the madness of Mount Hikami, Yuri, Miyu, and Ren all make their way there, each for their own reasons. A heavy fog descends, as if to snuff out all hope of escape. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's just like, I get this, you know, sneaking suspicion, this, I don't know, feeling just kind of cr crawling up my spine that this is not going to be a happy ending, right? I've really grown to like the characters. Bride from Black Water, last drop. Huh. I've really grown to like the characters, and I want all of them to succeed, but I know it's just not going to end well. The glow of the dark sun fades away, and the sleeping girls regain consciousness. The mountain calls to our three protagonists. Their individual mysteries await resolution. So are we going to are we gonna play as each of them individually? Or is it really just going to be playing as Yuri? Or are we going to like start playing as Yuri, and then... Uh-oh. The door is open. The mist thickens. Also, what an incredible cutscene. Yet again, something this game has done incredibly well. The door is open. The shrine on the water. It's calling me. It's waiting for me. I... I must go. 
All right, looks like that's where we're heading off to, but what a sad, what a sad experience. I mean, we know that essentially as a potential pillar, right? She is somebody who's gotten close to death, and we now know that that's from the death of her family. Ever since then, she's been close to death, contemplating her own death, right? Anyways, Yuri's notebook four. It's my diary. The doctor at the hospital said I should keep one. Then I should record my thoughts, dreams, things I could see and hear, and write them down to read later after I'd calmed down. In the end, he still didn't believe me. I dreamt of a shrine maiden, of becoming a shrine maiden. She lifted her blindfold and glanced at a dying man, then covered her eyes and wept. I didn't cry. I didn't even cry when Hisoka stopped me from jumping. Hisoka cried, though. I wonder when I last cried. As a child, I used to cry at the sunset. Now, when I see the sunset, I just stare, transfixed. It feels like I'm melting away, being called away to the other side. Surely, to the netherworld. Let's see how everybody else is doing up here. Yeah, it's almost comical. I, I've got a couple other things to do, but I am, I've just been so eager to play more of this game and see how this resolves. I just have to play. Uh, it looks like he's so good. Huh. Oh, we can shadow glance her? I mean, we've seen that before, but... Hisoka's Journal 6. I dreamt of a river. It was the river of death, and we had to cross it. Aww. Sad. That's what Hisoka's dreaming of. Everyone fought the current, until one by one they grew weary and were swept away. I couldn't save them. In the end, I was swept away. Alone. Everyone was fighting against the current, moving as one. I felt relieved that we were all connected. Then I woke up. When I touched Yuri on that cliff, I saw her anguish, her survivor's guilt, her fixation with death, and her hesitation to chase it. Maybe I'm drawn to Yuri and she to me, because we are both fighting against the current. They're both essentially being pulled in Yuri. by the current of the mountain of the black water, right? Oh. Poor Hisoka. Let's go check in on Miyu and Miku. Actually, before I forget... <laughs> hmm, I must be having a nightmare of some sort. Nothing I can pick up here? Nothing I can shadow glance? So, interesting. They, she, she said Mafuyu again, um, but the Japanese was Nissan. So I don't know if there's like a, an older sibling, a brother that we just don't know about. Maybe from a different game. But... There's nothing of interest in here.
Oh. That's sad. They're clearly both not having the most pleasant of dreams. Um, all right. I guess we can head on down. I think this will take us to the surveillance room. Yep. Then, is Rudy going to be asleep on the couch? Yep. I'm really curious about Odui. I feel like they're the person that we don't understand as well. Or at least understand. Wow. That was pretty deep. Then can we can we interact with you? I guess not. Okay. Before we head out just to be safe. Oh, it's going to be in one of uh, another rainy night. Fitting. Certainly not surprising. Just to be safe, want to check in here and make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. Alright. Now that we've stopped by everybody, we can head on out. I'm curious though. I'm sure everybody else is going to end up on the mountain too, right? So everybody's going to progressively leave the antique shop throughout the night. It's kind of funny. What do we have here? The Shadow Spring Tale. It's a book about an old legend. It looks like it was written by the folklorist Keiji Watarai. Listen to the radio. Wow. They say on Mount Hikami, the Shadow Spring is here, but it is on the other side. It is a curious saying. It must mean that the spring is both of this world and yet not of this world. The black water flows from the shadow spring. Within it lies the underworld itself. For centuries, the shrine maidens have protected the shadow spring, believing it to be a bridge between worlds. Tales abound of such bridges. Are there people all over the country protecting these bridges, as Mount Hikami does, by drowning shrine maidens? Perhaps Ose Kurosawa, the last immortal flower, was one such sacrifice. The last immortal flower. One of the pillars, right? Ose. It sounds like a like a more masculine name. So maybe Kurosawa's like grandfather or something? Is part of a ghost marriage? Either way. That sun is setting. We know that's a uh, sign. For no good. Wow, what a throwback. That we've made it all the way back here to where we started. So many hours, so many drops ago. Oh, I've been meaning to say, each like chapter is called a drop, and I never really thought about it. And I, I pictured in my head, sort of like, I don't know, each character sort of like flying overhead and, and dropping into a particular story episode. But 
bride beckoning. Huh. You must be the bride of black water. But it makes sense that it's like a drop of water, right? It's probably multifaceted, but some of the things that come to mind are, you know, the idea of like drops of water coalescing into one cohesive pool. Wow, I'm actually surprised we are allowed to come in here. Are we going to find anything in here? This is that old inn. This is where everything started. I would be shocked if we found anything in here. And look at that, we're slowly drying off. Well, sure enough. There's something. Really? Ah, oh, man. The number of times that gets me. Maybe we can only dry off when we're, like, indoors. Under a roof, per se. I guess either way, we can, um, we can explore the area, see what we find. The game will stop me if I'm getting too far off track, I think. But we might as well look, right? There are definitely items strewn about. To me, that's an indicator that it's not completely ludicrous to consider exploring this section. Not to mention, it is a, a relatively smaller area, so we can explore it fairly quickly. Open these drawers? Doesn't seem so. But yeah, it's kind of interesting coming back here. It's been a while. Since the very beginning of the game, really. interest in here. Doesn't seem so. Maybe this, this is like the final hiding spot. The furthest corner, right? Nope. I was, you know, low-key hoping for some Type-0 film, but... But no luck. Alright, so then we'll head up to the upstairs area. I guess it all is somewhat, you know, kind of connected. I almost kind of hope, though, they don't really leave every area that we've been to open. So I feel a little bit pressured to actually explore each of those areas. Oh, hello. That was a surprise. Come on, lock on. There we go. Get a little damage going. Can I get a shutter chance? There we go. That's a pretty strong one. Oops. Where are you at? Behind me? Yep. Into the door you go, I guess. gonna come back anytime soon. <laughs> Alright, let's get a fatal frame. Come on, we're almost there. There we go. That sounds like that was the end of him. Yeah, I didn't expect a, a ghost battle on the way back. Again, I'm still not sure about how the ghost battles work, as if they're, you know, pre-programmed, pre-placed, or if there is some randomness to it. But as I was saying, I'd feel very compelled to explore every corner available if truly we can explore each and every area we've ever been to. And that might take a while, especially if things are relatively... I don't know. Not, not exciting in what you gain from them, right? I mean, I'm happy to pick up these items that we occasionally use, but at the same time, I'd rather just have, like, the, the point threshold for the chapter 
for getting a good rank decreased and have more of the items removed so that you're not pressured to pick them up to get that threshold then kind of spend a lot of time going around to areas picking up items that ultimately I'm not going to use um, unless there's like you know there's like manuscripts or books or something like that that really contribute to the lore of the area I can't hold any more of those how much type 14 film we got 88 uh, that's an awkward number so we're eventually going to come back down this way so and I would say there's a decent chance we run into an enemy around here at some point so what I'll do is I'll set the type 14 film we need to get down to 75 so we have 13 shots of the type 14 film we can reasonably use during a battle That's another little pet peeve, I guess. More Type 14 film? Dang, so we're not even going to be able to pick up all the Type 14 film available to us. And we can go in here, too. So we can go up on the roof. Wow. What's over on this side? Hopefully not more Type 14 film. Oh, a mirror stone. Alright, that's a pretty good reward for exploring all the way up here. You can open this door. Ah, yes, and then we're on this side of the, the building. Anything hiding in this room? I'm pretty sure we'll have to go back down through the, uh, the hotel as well. Anything in this corner? No? Things are awfully quiet, aren't they? It's a little bit concerning. But I'm pretty sure there was a secret entrance to the inn, right? Oh, yep, we got a couple customers. Sounds like one of our hanging friends, unfortunately. You seem a little bit lost at the moment. Oh, what the heck? Come on, lock on. So, well, I guess we'll keep using this Type 14 film. Oh, we've got a couple friends. Oh, that was not a fatal frame. I can't use the, the Rui strats like I did before. And I'm, I'm actually free to use a lot of this Type 14 film because we know for a fact there were two of those down below. There's 48, essentially. Because we can get down to 45 if we really wanted to. There's that ghost over there. I wish you'd come back into range, really. Ah, uh, we didn't quite get it. But we dodged once, which was not enough, I guess. Oh, interesting. we get up. That was pretty cool. I think that's the first time we've ever been, like, knocked down. Okay, you're finally coming back, like, onto the ground. I was like, where am I getting attacked from? Why can't... I was like, there's not even an icon for me to attack. What's going on? Can I get a shutter chance, please? Ah, I tried to get the shutter chance for the, uh, what's it called? Come on. No. There we go. With the healing shot, so that we could heal up quite a bit. I think we did a decent job. Oh, you're dead? Fatal glance, fatal glance, come on. Nice. Alright. Now we can take you out. You're gonna fall. Oh, hello. Get up nice and close, do some damage. Ooh, and a good fatal frame. This'll probably finish it. Yep, there we go. So 
let's get this fatal glance. And then, is this some film over here? I wonder what kind of film. That's th three for three they've gotten me this episode, or this drop. Jeez. I swear I'm not just, like, spacing out, but... Type 14 film. So there's an abundance of Type 14 film. Oh, and we're at 97. Okay, I think I'm just going to leave it at that and, and call it a day. Um, just because I feel like in uh, previous drops, I mean, that's only for 200 points, essentially. Which is not worth it, if you ask me. Have we been down this way before? I think we have. This is the shortcut, right? Yeah, so I don't feel the need to explore everything else in the inn. I think we've covered all of the inn. It's just that Type 14 film down there that we haven't gotten to Hikami Tunnel Old Exit. It's letting us go here? What? That's like up by the gondolas and everything. Oh boy, this might be this might be a long episode, guys. Because we are doing a lot of exploration. <laughs> Which way do we want to go? The blockade entrance? To the cave-in? Construction site? Like, there's there are a whole bunch of different places we can go. That's to the forest station. Bypass the forest? We never went in that cave before? Oh man, guys, this is... This is honestly kind of overwhelming. Okay, so I can't go past that. I mean, there's this area over here to the Unfathomable Forest. Honestly, I'd probably rather just go to the Unfathomable Forest at this point. Let's see, where in the forest are we? And we're trying to go to the Shrine on the Water, right? But, I mean, realistically, we can explore, like, everywhere. And I mean everywhere. So, where do we want to try to go, right, is the question. There's the womb pathway. There's the east byway. How do we get to the Shrine on the Water again? It's from the Shrine of the Ephemeral, right? That's the Shrine of Doll's Path. How do we get to the Shrine of the Ephemeral again? I'm trying to remember, I can like see the pathway with the stones and everything. And we're not, we're not there. And it's not through the Shrine of the Dolls, is it? It's not through the caverns or anything like that. So we'll have to try going somewhere else. Either to the Womb Pathway or to the East Byway. Let's try going to the East Byway first. <laughs> Nick gets lost, the episode. Not only Nick gets lost, but Nick gets lost and the game lets him. <laughs> the game encourages him by literally letting him explore everywhere he's ever been in this game. Yeah, I guess we might as well check around this lake. I'm not really seeing any items or anything like that. Yet. Sometimes, like, in the distance you can see the glint know of the shining item but it seems thus far the forest has not been very fruitful and as I say that I see a few glints in the area so some purifying embers that's pretty helpful and finally we get a win against those invisible hands yeah I see a few glints in the area so we'll take a look and see what we can find Hopefully it's not just a bunch of uh, Type 14 film. <laughs> we are at least getting a fair number of items. Granted, there's going to be probably the, the boss battle, right? What's presumably the most difficult battle in this game. So we do want to be well equipped for it. Let's see. Did I see a glint over this way? No, I didn't. This is where I came from, right? Yeah. 
Okay, then we'll go back that other way before heading across. Okay, we can head this way for now. At the very least, during all this exploration, we're not getting bogged down by battle after battle. Because you know if this was like an old school RPG, we'd be getting random battle after random battle that would make this process take forever. Oh, hello. As I say that, the ghost decides to uh, join us. Oops. Okay, they're gonna fall on me any second. <laughs> I have no idea how to block that. Also, dang, we took quite a bit of damage from that, didn't we? Oh, it's because that wasn't even really the, the main enemy. Yeah, we haven't fought this enemy in a while, have we? The one that really just, like, straight up drops on you. Who are you? She's gonna follow me, so we're gonna start running. So, I guess I avoided it. Which is good. But, um... I don't know, I think I'm gonna run past you over this way. Just so I can kind of line you guys up a little bit. Except I don't know where my, my falling friend is. Oops. Oh man, they're both gonna fall. That's what it feels like. Run, 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 run. What? So... Hmm, I obviously, we're like at the end of the game and I haven't figured out how to deal with that attack. But I'm thinking the answer might be I have to look up and kind of like catch her before she falls or something. I feel like that was the one time I actually was ahead of the game and anticipated the fall and was ready to take a picture, but I couldn't because of the... Um, the loading time. And I know that I've mentioned... Oh, yes, you fatal glance. There was actually something I could, like, lock onto for a moment. Oh, are you about to fall on me? Are you gonna fall on me? Got the fatal frame. Can't see it. But, uh, I guess we'll make it work. And you're probably dead now, right? Maybe not? I guess not. We got the fatal frame. Nice. I can't lock onto her, so I don't actually know how much HP she has left. Supposedly a lot. Pretty strong ghost here. That should be enough for the shutter chance. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we got the fatal frame. Nice. And it was a healing shot, so we should be back at full health. Are you dead yet? Jeez. You're taking a while. There we go. That screech, that was totally it. Oh, wait, what? Get the fatal glance. Oh, man, I missed it again. I was like, wait, I know, I remember. She's going to fall, and that's going to be like a split-second chance I actually have to get the fatal glance. But I was not fast enough yet again. It occurred to me too late. All right, what do we have here? Some purifying embers. All right. 
What else do we want to check? Yeah, we can check down this little pathway, see if there's anything interesting over here. Seems like it. All right. Where to next? Probably head around this way and then back towards the central area by the Shrine of Dolls. Kind of hidden a compromise of, yes, I want to explore as much as I can. I'm eager to do so, yet at the same time, I don't want to spend, you know, the next hour <laughs> simply re-exploring every single area I've been to throughout the whole game. That doesn't sound like the most ideal hour, and it sounds like a great way to end up with a really, really long finale. But you guys are champs. You guys actually like the longer episodes more in general, which is great. But... I know you're probably also looking forward to more, um... Oh, hello. Darn it, I was just a tad second, or a second too late. It's our friend again. Where are you at? Where are you gonna charge me from next? Next one I can get a shutter chance, gonna use the healing shot. That was a good one. Alright, where are you gonna appear next? Oh, you're still over there. And now you're not. Oh, or you are. You're just kind of invisible. Still need one more before I can get the shutter chance. Ah, oh, shoot, I was too early. I can be a little bit more aggressive with the shutter chances because I can actually see his health and I know I'm not going to push him too far away with fiddle guys. Oh, uh, nope. I was going to say, ready to dodge. That was a good one. And he's getting a little bit low on HP. Oh, you're all the way up there. Nice, we got it. This should probably do it, man. Yeah, so he's gonna charge at me, right? Oh, no, he's not. I thought he was gonna charge at me and I'd have to take a picture of him before I could get the fatal glance, but I guess not. Okay, let's see, anything else? Over this way, maybe? I wonder. I wonder, will they let me in? Will they let me in the shrine? Oh, they will. Oh, they will. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it, because now I feel like I have to explore it. Oh, man. Hmm. This is the path leading up, right? To the Twilight Mountain and everything. Or Twilight Peak. Oh, guys, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to put you through this. Because for all I know, this could be like... They're literally letting me explore everything. Everything. I might honestly just do a compilation where I do a little montage of all the different things I find all over the place. Because... <laughs> they're gonna let me go to the womb cavern and everything. Um, hmm, do I want to explore the rest of this area too? Like, there's all of this that might have stuff, right? Hmm. I don't know, guys. I'll, I'll go down to the womb cavern. I think at this point, I am fine with saying, all right, we've probably got enough stuff. We can just start heading towards the Shrine of the Ephemeral, and if we find our way there, lovely, we'll just continue onward. At this point, we haven't found any sort of, like, manuscripts, right? Oh, that's right, there are two of them. Oh, crap. Two of them. All right, so let's see if we can at least line them up. That'll be helpful. Thanks. 
strong uh, shutter chance there. Healed a lot from that too. For some reason, we a lot of damage to these guys. Oh man, that's not good. Thought I could get the fatal frame with the shutter chance and all that. Turns out I could. Oh, you're dead? Let me get this fatal glance, come on. I wonder if I can be attacked while I'm attempting to touch for a fatal glance. Hasn't happened yet. Hope not, but... Ah, oh, it's too early. I'm most worried about that, that curse. Come on. There we go. That should do a lot of damage, though. How much? Oh, okay. you don't have a lot of health left. Where are you at? I was like, you're way too close. I clearly don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> I can't back up any further. I just don't want to get hit by that curse so that I have to use a, um, a what's it called? Uh, purifying Embers. There's something in the corner over here. So yeah, I mean, there are a whole bunch of items hidden around, it seems. Sacred waters, purifying embers, etc. But at the same time, like, I don't know. I mentioned earlier, I don't want to spend forever just running around here looking for a variety of items. This is the corridor exit, the room with reliquary. Which way does that go again? I'm trying to remember where to Shrine of the Ephemeral. All right, yeah, we're just going to go. <laughs> Because it doesn't seem like they're hiding any sort of manuscripts or anything like that, right? This is the path of the ephemeral. Okay, I am I am oriented. I have I know where we need to go. So we'll grab this item here. We'll check where that Type Zero film usually is, and then we'll just head to the shrine of the ephemeral and go to the shrine on the water from there. Because, well, let me know. Let me know if there are, you know, tons of manuscripts or other things that I'm missing by not going around and picking them up. If so, it's a bummer, but I think I'd rather, on a second playthrough of the game, have a guide and know exactly where I can go for certain items um, and pick those up, rather than literally go to every single place I've ever been in the entire game. Wow, three of them? That's... I got a shutter chance, and I was like, wait, I thought each of them only had two hitboxes. How did I do that? And then, um, sure enough, <laughs> turns out there are actually three of them. So I'm gonna do this, where I turn around like that, try to line them up. Dang. It's not super effective, though. So they're gonna start firing off their fireballs and all that. Oop, did we get the shutter chance? We did. Lovely, lovely. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of that while I can. The fireballs are easily the toughest part after a while. I don't even know where the third one is right now, but... This works, I guess. Oh, that's where they were. Oh, I got hit by a fireball, I think. Slash, I'm trapped. Interesting. It's like when they take enough damage, they try to heal each other. Wait, they're dead? That was a lot quicker than I expected. Huh. That's kind of odd. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I missed some of these. Because I took an abnormal path to getting here. Right? Like, I didn't come from the cable car. Oh well. Hmm. 
Water Design Journal 6. She's taken the boat of passage to the shrine on the water. Whenever a pillar crumbles, whenever a shrine maiden falls, the rest of us, bound by water, must take on those emotions. I have glanced so many deaths. The pain is overflowing. The final thoughts of the dead whirl like a maelstrom. I cannot handle any more. My heart has reached its limit. The real question is, who is the Bride of Blackwater, right? Game? Whew, okay. Didn't just like crash or something. <laughs> Loading screen, so reassuring. And always falling asleep in front of these surveillance cameras. Man, dropping the ball. I must have passed out. This mist isn't a good sign. Is Rui okay? That thing you're looking for? It must be whatever keepsake that girl referred to. We're finally getting some more insight into who she is, and obviously how Oden is connected to her. Wait a minute, he said your study in the back. Does he mean like... Or sorry, does she mean like over in this area? Like that, that room that Haruka was in? I don't know. Hmm. I actually don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's referring to any of the upstairs rooms. I mean, we can always take a look. There's the bathroom over here, as well as the exit in the back. Just to be safe, 
Or was she referring to a piece of furniture in the front of the antique shop? Now Ren is going to realize that Yuri's gone. Has she been taken back to the mountain again? Seems like it. We'll inspect everything here. No luck. I guess we can check out Hisoka and Miu and Miku. She's still here. This isn't even Ben's shop, is it? Yeah, it's Hisoka's shop. Why would he have his keepsake in here? Unless it is one of the antiques that's like on display or something, right? But yeah, I think she said the, the study in the back. Admittedly, I don't actually know what she means by in, in the back. Behind the shop, in the back storage room, towards the back of the front of the antique store or something. This area kind of looks like a storage room closet-esque area. I guess all we can do is look for it, right? <laughs> We're slowly but surely process of elimination. Do you want to tell us again, Rui? Please? I guess not. In here? Sensei, you want to come with? You can. Because I don't think we've ever been to the room where Ren actually works, right? The very beginning, the first chapter we saw Ren and Louis in this sort of room where there are a whole bunch of his books and everything, but, but I don't think we've ever actually been there, have we? Maybe when he was like, oh, it's in your study in, in the back. It was more of like a, you should actually go to your study, that room that I just referred to, and see what you can find there. I can't stop thinking about what Rui said. What I'm looking for is in my study. What does it mean? Okay, so it wasn't a room in the, the antique shop. That's nice. Well, it looks like there are a couple things to interact with. This seems like one I might... Ooh, which of these? Is that... That looks like a purifying embers thing. So I'm gonna grab that first. I think that's less likely to, uh... <laughs> to progress the story. The camera obscura was in this box when I found it. This must mean it belonged to Dr. Asso. Dr. Asso. That's the, that's the other name, Master Asso... Also and Ose, right? Those are two individuals I still haven't quite clearly uh, untangled in my head, but they're obviously important. It looks like there's something else inside. Is this hair? That's totally that girl's hair. That girl in my dreams, the one I met in the Shrine of Dolls. This ribbon looks like hers. There was a notebook underneath the bundle of hair. Was this the original owner of the box? Did Dr. Also write this? How long has it been since I found it? That ceremony, was it real? If not, then what is this hair? My memories are hazy. I was caught up in the passion of the ceremony. I brought down the blade. Then, darkness. Was it, is this Ren's writing or Dr. Asso's? I made a promise to find that girl and bring her this token. I feel like she's still waiting, even though it's been longer than I care to think about. Even at my age, no, because of my age, that innocent promise we made weighs heavily on me. A forgotten promise, one that cannot be unmade. Where can I possibly take this token that the promise might be fulfilled? If this was left behind by Dr. Asso, then the dream of the ritual was a memory of his? Yeah, that's kind of odd that he'd be seeing it then, right? That girl, she's waiting for the person she gave this lock of hair to, for Dr. Asso. 
Interesting. So that was Dr. Asa. Then why is Ren seeing those images? What did he see on Matikami? And how is it related to the current events? This photograph in the lock of hair might lead to the answers I seek. I agree. We'll probably need to head back to the Shrine of Dolls, right? But yeah, I, I went there first because I didn't think we'd find the story relevant item. I thought instead we'd uh, find a, a box of purifying embers. Anyways, Rui's Journal 7. It's Rui's Journal. Something's written in it. Mr. Hojo won't choose me. I can't do anything about that, but I'm fine. I'm fine with it. The more I say that, the more I want to cry. The tears wash me clean. Clean of my clingy possessiveness, my jealousy, my desire to give in to him. He doesn't have to choose me. I just want to be at his side for as long as he'll let me. He'll grow so used to me there I'll become invisible to him. Like water, I will vanish. I'll become transparent, colorless. Wow, that's sad. Like, truly. What are these pictures on his desk? Oh, I thought we might get some insight into, like, Ren's family or childhood or something like that. Okay. I guess that's all we came here for. Two Mikomori hot springs. Okay. Now here's the real question. The real question is... Is this Dr. Aso? The only person who left Mount Hikami alive. But what was he doing here? What did he take pictures of? If I try photographing what he's looking at, I may just find some clues. If I try photographing what he's looking at... That's right, Ren doesn't have the shadow reading ability, so he can't contact Trace. Hmm. So it seems like it's down that middle path. The path leading up the mountain. This place used to be called Maiden Grove. This is where pilgrims chose the Shrine Maiden to accompany them. A Shrine Maiden. Who would oversee their demise? Dr. Aso. Is he the one who took those, like, post-mortem photographs? Something like that? Looks like Dr. Aso's notes. Are they from when he visited the mountain? The Shrine Maiden's Grove. I received a special invitation to visit this mountain, where only people who return to the water are allowed to go. The mountain whence none return alive. This mountain has a unique custom. They believe water to be holy. The people here yearn for a proper death. People come here, chanting about wanting to be the water. They're so sincere, I think I'm starting to believe them. So many people with the same belief. If this is carried on through generations, perhaps their prayers will be answered. The other question I was going to ask is, if we were to go to the left and explore all the areas we just explored as Yuri, would we have any more items to pick up? <laughs> you know? Because this is the same drop, even if we're playing as different characters, are the, you know, picked up items and all that kept the same across characters? Because if so, we can actually utilize this to our advantage and take a different route up each time. So let's see what we can find over here. Doesn't really seem to be much yet. There's something up there. And also, look at this. This episode is already almost an hour long. We haven't even played as Mew yet. <laughs> oh man, maybe this will just be like one really grand finale, <laughs> couple hour long episode. Because I'm sure we're gonna play as Ren for a bit, and then oh, I guess I'm getting attacked. I don't know where from, but... Oh, hello. Look at that. Quick scoping for the Fatal Frame. But, uh... Yeah. Really into the long haul here. How did that not count as a Fatal Frame? Really? That was a strong shutter chance. There's another one. Now 
we should be able to get another one. Oh, we'll get another one in just a minute. First, dodge that, and then... Yeah, I guess this works. Did you die? Nope. And I just walked right into my enemy. Would not recommend, pro gamers. Is that... Is that it? I think so. Yes. Give me that glance. Okay. Onward. Interesting. This is such an interesting concept. This is the Pool of Purification. Pilgrims would undergo a rite of purification here. Soaking in these waters would make them one with the mountain and bring them closer to the world of the dead. The Shrine Maidens always kept their raven black hair soaked. They were known as Maidens of Black Water. It's just like interesting, right? We're learning about the, the origins of these rituals, and they seem somewhat normal-ish and reasonable <laughs> for now, in terms of like not wanting to die alone, you know, once you've made up your mind, returning to the nature from whence you came, you know, like all, all that sort of stuff. But we know eventually it, it does take a turn, right? It eventually becomes something that becomes more... It also has these sort of twisted rituals tied to it. Related to the reliquaries and holding off the Shadow Spring and, and all that. Dr. Osso's Records 3. In the past, Dr. Osso visited the mountain and took photographs. The air is so clean here. Calm, the pure water flows, and the mist is full of vital energy. Everything here has an aura. In the woods, one can feel not only the animals and trees, the water itself has an energy. I understand now. The water is alive. We are born from water, and to water we return. The water connects us all. Perhaps the Shrine Maidens with their well-honed senses perceive this aura and lead the people to a proper death. Here, in this place, I am not alone. It's interesting. It's so interesting because this is in such a more positive light, right? While throughout the rest of the game we've seen people say, oh, they're not alone and, and talk about that in the forest. You know, they, they come here alone, but they don't feel alone because of all the ghosts, all the Shrine Maidens, that eventually essentially convince them to kill themselves, right? Ah, oh, we didn't quite get the, uh, shutter chance. How is that not a fatal frame, right? I feel like I should get some attacking frames there. I was gonna say, there are a whole bunch of those spirit drop things around. You gotta be able to get a shutter chance sometime soon, right? How much health you got left? Oh, you still got plenty. I can afford to give another, uh, Another Shutter Chance. That's where we came from. Okay. So there's this little area on the right. Jumper's point. Continue to work our way up. But yeah, now I'm also a little worried. Maybe coming up this way, we didn't see as many of those shadow tracings of the bride as we could have. Let's see. Unfathomable path. The right way is the, the way forward. So we'll make sure there isn't an item over here. 
Nope. Seems we're good. To the unfathomable forest we go. Oh, you know what? I just thought about Mew technically uses Yuri's camera obscura, right? So how are we going to play as her? Now we're in this area again, right? So we have this whole right side to explore. Ah! Okay, anything up here? Oh no! That's totally an area we explored last time. So the items are back. The items are back, guys. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's already been an hour. I can't force myself to re-explore the same area yet again. I'm willing I'm willing to look at these areas. That we haven't seen yet. To see if there's, you know, some type zero film or whatever it might be. But no, I can't <laughs> I can't go through the entirety of the map of this game two or three times back to back in the final chapter of the game. Putting off the action, right? That much. You know, I didn't really notice. But, uh, I was gonna say... Oh, hello! That was not even intentional. I didn't anticipate that. I was gonna check to see if I could hold any more, uh, or how much Type 14 film, and if our inventory was carrying over from when we played as Yuri. But... I don't know. Oh, I'm cornered. Not good. Oh man, I tried to get the, the shutter chance there. I'm gonna back up over this way, because we'll have a little bit more to work with here. Just do a little bit of damage when we can. Shutter chance up there. Nice, nice. Did we get it? No, we didn't. We zoomed a little bit too fast. We'll get rid of that torch. Which is lovely. Got a lot going on over here. Friend down there. That yeah, will do some damage in the meantime. Oh, and this other friend just decided to show up. We did not get the torch, which is not good, so we'll run back over this way. And there's a lot going on up there. These guys have less health than I expect. Oh, what? Interesting. Normally they do the whole sequence of, oh, I need to heal you and all that. Yeah, so if it's type 14 film, I'm not going to concern myself with it, honestly. We should check the tent, I guess. We technically could take pictures to get four of them, but... no, nah, I don't... To, or to get an extra three of them to our inventory. An extra 300 points. I bet the time that it would take to actually take all, I don't know... 21 pictures with the Type 14 film would not be worth it. Granted, I did just have an encounter. I could have switched to Type 14 film and it probably would have been fine. Um, that probably would have been optimal, actually. But it's fine. Do a little more damage, get through the battle a little more quickly, and then can, you know, stock up on the, uh, the Type 14 film after to have an extra 300 points. But it's all good. We'll explore the area that we haven't been to yet. There's some more Type 14 film. <laughs> Jeez. They're really letting you run loose with the Type 14 film. So we'll keep on heading this way. Oh, do I want to go explore all of that area? I mean, you guys can kind of hear it in how I'm just talking, right? It's a lot to explore. It's a lot to to have in the way, almost, of getting to the final boss and the ending of this incredible game so far, right? So we're trying to go to the Shrine of Dolls, though. So I think, honestly, I'm just going to go this way for now. And we'll pick up that one item on the coast that's really close by over there. But otherwise, I'm not anticipating missing out on many significant story items or anything like that. Is this, oh, is this Type 61 film? It is... It is. 
So what's hilarious is, oh, hello. Why is it that, how did that happen? Right, like, I don't know if you guys <laughs> noticed, but the enemy wasn't even on screen before I pulled up the camera. I just pulled up the camera to look at my inventory of different film types. And then here we are in this middle of this battle, which is fine. Um, but I wonder if it was like triggered by me opening the camera or something. I don't know. Or if I really just got lucky with that. Which else you got? Yeah, you still got a decent amount left. I don't know if we fully maxed out Ben's uh, damage output, but this ghost is getting really far back. Where are you? Well, you're somewhere in my visual field. Nope, now you're not. I have no idea where you are. There you are. Okay, I can finally see you, jeez. Oh man, that was gonna be a pretty strong hit. Uh oh, curse. I don't like the curves. Can we get the glance? Seems like we can. Okay. So the Type 61 film, why I was curious about that in particular, is because that means the item distribution is the same as what it was when we played as Yuri. Or it, it, it's not necessarily the same, but it's highly likely it's the same distribution of items as when we were playing as Yuri. And all of those items are just back now. Is this where that item was? Or was it over here? It was over this way. So then the next question I had was, do we share inventories, right? So let's look, how much film do we have? Type 61 film, okay, yeah, we definitely do because there's no way we'd be at this high amount of, um, and we have the type zero film. Okay, so we are sharing an inventory, even though it seems like the items more or less respawn, which is kind of odd, but, like, I, I can't imagine the intent was to encourage really exploring the entirety of the map multiple times, right? So, we'll pick up what we know we want to find and work with that. Oh, there she is. The girl with white hair. She gave a token to Dr. Asso when he was a boy and later came to this mountain. What's interesting is if Dr. Osso was a boy when he was on the mountain for this ritual, right? Was he a part of the community at one point, left, and then came back later on? How does he not know more about it, right? Then she waited for him to come back to her, guided by the token. Dr. Asso's records, four. What did Dr. Asso see here on the mountain? This mountain reminds me of the time I spent on Mount Kagiroyu in my youth. Back then, I believed without a doubt in an invisible world. When did I stop, and why? This mountain air has awoken a long forgotten memory. I was dozing under a tree and dreamt of that ceremony. I received something that day in my dream, in my past. Was it a dream, or did it really happen? And how the heck is then connected to all of this? Well, we know where we're going. So let's head on over to where we saw that girl with the white hair the first time around. And this is where I have to go? Oh, or not. The only other thing I can think of is underneath that... Hmm. Uh-oh. 
Actually, let me let me think for a moment. Where else would we want to go? Is it out here? The hanging yard? Maybe. Because it has these stairwells. I want to try... I'll, I'll try that first before I go down into the womb cavern. Because if I go down into the womb cavern, that's a, that's a long path. <laughs> right? <laughs> to the shrine of the ephemeral. And everything. I'm not sure I want to head there just yet. Oh, we technically could go down there. Oh, I don't want to go down there, though. It's dark and wet. Probably tough enemies. All that jazz. For seven years, I belonged to the gods. Would she become a pillar at age seven? She must have had an exceptional life up until that point, right? That um, that brought her so close to death and everything. This journal. Did that white-haired girl leave this Shiragiku? Is that the first we've heard her name? I'm not like the others. My hair and eyes make me special. I was told I wouldn't live long. That I wouldn't even live to be seven years old. They all hid from me. Like they might catch something. Only he didn't run. When we played hide-and-seek, we hid together in our secret place. Nobody could find us there. Why did we ever leave? The first time I cried was when I had to leave that place. The ceremony is tomorrow. Okay, so I think given that we saw that cutscene, I think... Or not cutscene so much, but... I think we're moving in the right direction. Do we need to go left or right? It looks like it honestly... Oh, it does matter. But let's explore this room on the left first just because... It is a dead end. There may be an interesting item. And I don't think it's too far out of the way to look. But alas, there was nothing. But it's interesting. So she's been told up until this point in time that she wouldn't live past the age of seven. And maybe for that reason in particular, she's been exceptionally close to death, right? And it's that closeness with death died once, but I came back. Huh. What do you mean by that? Do you mean as a ghost? Probably? Possibly? I don't... I don't know. Right? Oh, I guess I could be doing this. That's pretty helpful, actually. How did I forget that that was a mechanic? Here I am like, where to go, where to go, when the whole time... Maidens who have returned from the dead become strong pillars. What do you mean by returning from the dead? Where is this kid? Oh my goodness, this is obnoxious. This battle has lasted like two seconds. I'm already ready for it to be over. Are you just gonna like attack me already or what? It's alright, I'll, I'll, I'll wait. <laughs> yep, you found me. Thank goodness. Stop running through the walls over and over. You 
just be in this general direction. It's alright, I'll wait. You sounded like you were dying. Oh my god. Finally. Oh, you have way too much health. I'll take a picture of that to prevent whatever spirit bit that is from going back to her. Oh, are you glitched? Oh, I was going to say, are you stuck and can't actually uh, continue to run through walls? If so, it'd make my day. Oh, I got hit. I did a decent amount of damage. Let's see, where are you at? Oh? In front of me, I guess. Nice. Big damage. Please, please be dead. Fatal glance, nice. Okay. Now that that game of hide and seek is over, I get the impression this is the wrong door. No, it's, it's the right door. Okay. Still moving in the right direction. Now we're out by these staircases. But even so, you still will come to see me. Interesting. This is another one of Shiragiku's journals, I guess? Yeah, the third one. Does she have some connection to Dr. Aso? At the ceremony on Mount Kagiroi, I cut a lock of my hair as a token, and as a farewell. I fell once. I thought I was dead, but I wasn't. I survived. When I opened my eyes, he was there. I am here because of him. That's why I chose him. Huh, where- wait, Mount Kagiroi. Dr. Also did some research there or something like that, right? Hmm. So Shiragiku fell down the mountain and thought she was dead, but survived. Is that what she means by she came back from the dead? And how she'd be an exceptionally strong pillar? Is she ultimately the Bride of Black Water? Hmm. On Mount Kaguroi, girls chosen to be pillars can pick their partner. I will be placed in a box and be taken to the mountain. We will exchange vows, be bound together for eternity. So Dr. Aso was presumably, um, you know, went through ghost marriage. Is this the hiding spot? I mean, I still think we're moving in the right direction. Granted, we were treated to that little bit with Shiragiku, but I thought this would be the end of our journey. Turns out it's not the case. Kunihiko also walking along the path. Okay. We are a little bit low on HP. Not exceptionally low. But at a point where... Uh, you know, one or two hits from a strong enemy could easily take us out. Wait, to the Shrine of the Ephemeral? This is another way to get to the Shrine of the Ephemeral? Oh, I do remember. It's this pathway. Alright, we'll head up. Let's bank left and see if there's the uh, Type 0 film still. There is. I mean, for what it's worth, this is probably the most important thing for us to pick up. That's crazy. Yeah, so there's... The same items are totally available. You could theoretically pick up a boatload of items by... <laughs> literally exploring every nook and cranny of this entire map with two, potentially three characters. We don't know what it's going to be like if slash when we play as Miyu, right? 
at some point I may even need to take a break and let my computer settle down from recording for so long. Wouldn't want the footage to get messed up or anything. Alright, so we'll head up here. Probably encounter a battle. No? Kunihiko also walking into the forest. Interesting. So is that where we are supposed to go? Or are we supposed to go to the Shrine of the Ephemeral? I would bet that we're supposed to follow Kunihiko also. It won't open. It's being held shut. Yeah. Interesting. Alright. We'll follow him. Because he's going to the place where the, the ghost marriages take place, right? Probably going to get ambushed in the middle of the forest here. Right, a bit of a branch? Or no, we just turn left here. To the Forbidden Valley. And then I would bet as Miyu or Miku, we come here as well. the path with the red spider lilies. That's how we got to the shrine for the, the ghost marriage, right? Oh, there's a bad picture. <laughs> Could he go also in the Forbidden Valley? And we still got it, though. The countless gravestones from an enormous gray hillock. Here and there are tiny Jesus statues, and none of the gravestones bear writing or carvings of any sort. Yeah, I'm sure there's plenty we can find in this graveyard, too we were to explore the other pathway, but I mean, realistically, right? <laughs> Do I want to go through all of this? Trudge through all the water? I don't think so. Yeah, I'd imagine this is where we're supposed to go. Given this is happening again, I'm concerned again about the game. I think we've reached the part where Ren's little path is coming to an end. The Shrine on the Water. Are we switching back to Yuri now? Seems like it. Interesting. So we're going to switch back and forth, it seems. Some Type 90 film. Some good stuff. Oh, you know what? Before I forget, actually, let's see if we can upgrade our camera. We should have a, a decent number of points. <laughs> a decent number of points we do have, that's for sure. I'll probably upgrade the absorption so that we can do more restorative shots. And I think we've already upgraded the restore lens all the way, right? Yeah, we have. That's what we use 99% of the time. I think next up would be the sensor, so we don't struggle as much to see where all the different, um, or so that we can get, you know, targets in camera. It'll, I think it'll increase our ability to actually get shutter chances. Right? It'll be easier to keep multiple targets, the spirit drops, the, the main hitboxes in camera. Wow, so there's really an abundance of Type 14 film. I should have been... I, I would have been able to use more of that earlier. Just gonna, I can't even hold more of the Type 61 film. There's 24 of that. Aw, oh, man. Do I really want to go through it? Wait, for the Type 61? Yeah, I will. Alright, we're going to take a second. Oh, but it's taking forever to load. Alright, we're probably going to get into a battle. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get down to 75 of Type 61 film. I'll use that in whatever battle we inevitably get in. 
right? Wow, that does so much more damage. Okay, that was a clutch shutter chance, if you ask me. Oh, I'm getting attacked. Darn it. We're doing some pretty big damage. We have 86 currently. Good shutter chance there. Again, doing some big damage. Look at how much that sensor range improves, right? You can just see so much more. You're already at about half health, which is pretty nice. That should help out. Let's see, shutter chance, nice. That curse mark. Oh. Oh, load faster. Oh, there were, there's no... I don't know if you guys saw that, but um, I got distracted by... We defeated one of the ghosts. And so it was ready for a fatal glance, but I was not anywhere near it. Oops. You have a decent amount of health left. I should be using my restore lens, shouldn't I? Yeah, that proved to be pretty helpful. Let's see. I was gonna say, a little too close. Can't really see what's going on. That might be enough to take her out. Run, 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 so we can get this fatal glance. Yeah, there we go. Okay, how many shots we have? 77. So realistically, trying to uh, wrap this up in the next shot, which could actually happen. Yep. Perfect. Right on the money. And we got the Fatal Glance. Perfect. Pro strats. <laughs> so let's go back in here and pick up that Type 61 film. And now we'll switch back to the Type 71. 71. 7. So now we know what it's like to use some of the more hard-hitting films. They genuinely do do a lot more damage. And it probably increases the, the speed of our battling, right? Okay. Is it on this side? It is. Okay, some purifying embers. Ah, yes, the submerged ones. The most effective embers. <laughs> oh, hello. You know what, I'm actually going to switch to the Type 14 film for this. I had my shot at the, uh, the shutter chance, unfortunately. Didn't quite get it. Oh, I got it. But I didn't get it with this uh, made in here. Aw, oh, man. So again, we're aiming for 75, right? Just going to do that and then run past you. So we can get out of the way and then potentially get some shutter chances. Although you just went behind me which isn't exceptionally helpful. Wow, look at that range. It's proving to be really helpful. Fatal frame, nice. We can get some good damage in here for sure. Are you dead? We'll walk over ever so slowly. Yes. Give me that glance. Oh, you're just outside of my range. Darn it. Oh, you're doing that dance or whatever. You didn't quite get the shutter chance. Ah, oh, darn it. Ooh, he got a little damage on the other one out of the corner there. That's kind of funny. That one on the left is probably dead. What is out of range? How much HP do you have? Oh. We got the fatal frame, nice. And we are at... Are you dead? I think you are. I want to get ready for your fatal glance. Please? What? Alright. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, wait, no, don't do this to me. Oh. 
I got the fatal glance and then immediately got body for it. Aw, oh, that was a waste of a restore shot, which I've been forgetting to do. I really should be more cognizant. Did we get the fatal frame? We did. Nice. Okay, we're not going to be able to get that fatal glance, are we? Alright, so just... Yeah, that's a bummer. But I guess it's not the end of the world. So, because we were using the Type 14 film and we're pretty close to being down to the 75 requisite to get to max again, I figured, might as well go back for it. Take a picture, run towards it, save a little bit of time while it's loading again, take a picture, etc. Three photos away. Okay, 77. 76. Nice lamp. Top tier photos. <laughs> Alright. And then we'll pick this up. Okay, so now we're at max for type 61 and type 14. So we'll switch back to type 7 and be on our way. Wow, this is a long episode. I hope you guys are okay with this. Maybe you guys are enjoying it. In previous series I've done, I've had episodes that, you know, hour, hour and a half, and normally they're, you know, half hour, 45 minutes or so. And I'm always, you know, apologizing, and people are like, no, no, we love to have such long episodes. You can always pause and come back to it, or if you really do want to sit down and be like, oh man, it's the finale, and, you know, binge whatever's left of the series, this is a way to do it. Some more film. More Type Zero film. Wow. Okay. I guess we'll start heading over. Type 90 film, hopefully? It's the only type we can actually take. Oh, nice. <laughs> and I got it right. Let's start heading over this way. Oh, hello. Oh, we got another set of three. Oh, a little bit of slowdown there, but not too bad. Second shutter chance in a row. Starting off pretty strong, if you ask me. Can we get you guys in frame? Come on, come on, come on. Almost. Come a little bit closer. Ah, uh, not quite, I guess. Alright, so this will be the first time we're doing so with the, um, what's it called? The Type 7 film, though, so it'll probably be a little bit of a different experience. Because there's so much going on on screen. And we'll not be able to do as much damage as we typically do. Let's see, you guys are both on this side? No, just one of you. Oh, I gotta remember, use my restore lens. Oh, this will be a great time. No, no, camera! Come on! <laughs> there we go. Look at that, we did almost 700 damage, so we restored a ton of HP with that. Oh, you're dead? Nice, 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 nice. Give me this glance. Oh, or not, I guess. Alright, move out of the way. Who needs fatal glances, right? Are you dead? No, you're not. Really strong shutter chance. That's totally gonna kill her, so let's run on over there. Wait patiently. <laughs> there we go. I will say one thing I really appreciate is that during these battles, even though the water is like almost, you know, like knee high ish, we're not like trudging through the water, right? We're still able to run. It makes a big difference. So now we should be able to get a pretty strong shutter chance. Oh, that was just a regular photograph. Into the water you go, I guess. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Before you get into the water, that should do the trick. Run, 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 run.
All right. Now that we've dealt with our third trio of ghosts, <laughs> that time with Type 7 film, which actually wasn't too bad, we can continue onwards. Let's see. We'll explore this little corner, just because it's there. And it's truly just a little corner. Some film, Type 90, hopefully. Type 0! Nice. So we are going to be... <laughs> we're going to be loaded for this essentially final battle, right? We've probably earned quite a bit of points from these battles, too, haven't we? How many points do we have? 125,000. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Oh, hello. Is that Hisoka? I think it is. Interesting. How how meaningful that they would put this battle here. Is it not Hisoka though? Because I thought we rescued Hisoka. I don't know how we could have like this ghost existing while we're also battling while we have saved Hisoka in the past. You are awfully far out there right now. I mean, I'll take a picture of this to get rid of those orbs, but. Where are you at? There you are. Didn't quite get the show chance, but that's okay. There we go. Oh, I didn't get all of them, but that was still decent. Alright, we'll take care of that orb. And head on over this way. We haven't been able to deal any, like, actual damage in a while, have we? Now we have our chance. One more orb? Nope. Okay. Where are you at? Oh, seriously disappeared right as I'm about to take the shot. Are you going to attack me soon, or what? There we go. Oh, that was a really fatal frame, though. <laughs> I tried to heal with some of those shots. You can see I drained a lot of my spirit power, but I really didn't get a lot of mileage from it. And it's not the end of the world. We'll get our spirit power back soon enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Heal shot. Nice. That's going to do a lot for us. And she's over halfway. That's progress. Come on. Yes, we got them all in there. Strike? Yes. That was like the last second. Love it. Right, we got a good amount of damage in there, if you ask me. Oh, darn it, that was bad. She's gonna attack. I don't have time. Darn. Really wanted that fatal frame, so we can really lay it on her during that, but wasn't able to make it happen. So this is where the sensors actually, you know, come in handy. She's just kind of lingering out there. I don't want her to die while she's out there, though. I want to get that, uh, that fatal glance. She's pretty close. Almost got that shutter chance. I feel like that would have done it. Yeah, that's totally it. Oh, but there's no way I can get that. Darn. Okay. Oh, what? There's 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 film right here, guys. <laughs> what kind of film is it? Oh, it's Type Zero. Okay. So I was going to say, I could have been using Type 14 film or something like that throughout the entirety of that encounter. And it probably would have sped things up or, you know, done a little bit for us. But in the end, I don't think it mattered too much. Because I don't plan on using the Type 0 film. So we got ourselves another mirror stone. <laughs> got plenty of 1-ups. 
major final boss vibes coming up. Any items over here? Yep. Some sacred water. Yeah, so I mean, we've got plenty of mirror stones. We've got plenty of sacred waters. We've got plenty of herbal medicines. I'm pretty sure we're at full health and, we're, and full spirit power. So I think we're in a good place. Let's head on in. Some film. What kind of film? Type 90, hopefully? I mean, that's all we really have room for at this point, isn't it? Yes. All right. Hope you guys are ready. I'm so excited. You shall serve as a fine pillar. Not on my watch. So interesting. I did not realize that these two old ladies were different people. <laughs> or different ghosts even, right? Oh. Jeez, they like teleported right behind me, I guess. I should just take a picture. Do some damage. Create more spirit drops. I was trying to line them up, you know? So that I didn't have to, uh... So I can get a nice shutter chance, but I just get more hits in. It'll be fine. Oops. Oh, want to get the shutter chance? What is going on on screen? There are like so many projectiles. Uh. Oh, they're on. Uh, they're lined up, kind of. Shutter chance, nice. Oh, they're trying to do that mirror type attack, right? They're trying to put me in the, the reliquary. Not on my watch. Fatal frame, nice. Let's get some damage in. Dang, we did a lot with that. Oh man, stupid pillar getting in the way. No pun intended. <laughs> oh shoot. Come on, come on. Shutter chance. Wanted to get the fatal frame. It's a little bit too late for it, but. Come on. Nice. Dang, we are. Honestly, I feel like this is going pretty well so far. You know? All things considered. It's pretty, uh. Pretty active screen at the moment. A lot going on. But I think. Oh, wait. No! Oh, I wanted that fatal glance. I didn't realize. I didn't think they would die so quickly. Oh, man. That's disappointing. Where are you? I really, really wanted that. That fatal glance. I have no idea how much HP they have. Because I can't lock onto them. Okay, you're almost dead. Awfully close. That should do it. It sounded like it didn't. Please give me the Fatal Glance. I hope, I hope they're the same Fatal Glance. Water just completely overtook everything.
So it seems like one of the reliquaries broke. Something happened to a pillar, and the black water just completely overflowed. It overtook everything on the mountain. And now we're switching back to Ren, potentially? Oh man, this is a long, long drop. <laughs> oh, no, Miu. Wait, she's on the boat to the shrine on the water? What a nightmare. Wait, but Miku's not there. Where did she go? Oh no. Mother's gone. Did she return to the mountain? But she left the camera obscura. What's it doing here? There's a photo on the bed. Wedding photo. This photo is very worn out. Is it Mother's? It shows her with some man. Is that... No way. Who is that? Is that supposed to be... Aso? Dr. Aso? I have to find her. I can't let her leave me again. So it looks like that's our... Our mission now. I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna take a minute, guys. Because I need to think about this. It's been two hours now. And... We're about to play as Miu. And then... Potentially switch back to Ren and, and Yuri again. So... I, I'm tempted to just split this here and say we'll have another episode that's also probably going to be really long because I don't anticipate this stopping anytime soon. By the way, I'm having a great time with it. So it's not like it's too long and, uh, you know, it's not enjoyable because it's drawing out forever. Um, I'm having a blast with it, but I don't want to drag you guys on forever either. So I think I'm going to cut my losses and say that in the next episode... We will continue to play as Miu, search for our mother, Miku, who has gone missing yet again, and then switch again back to Ren and, and Yuri and see where their fates actually conclude, figure out some of the last bits of this mystery, and see how it all comes to an end. If it turns out the next episode is only like 20 minutes because there's a lot less gameplay than I'm anticipating, I'll just, you know, smack it onto the end of this. Um, but if not, then I'm going to say in the next episode, we'll actually finish the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was a super long penultimate episode, <laughs> pseudo finale. Um, I, I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you guys liked it too and are looking forward to the next one. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero. And this mission is complete.